Hey guys, how you doing? It's Sean from Ridesharing101.com. And today, briefly, I want to talk to you about a flat tire that I had. And I know it doesn't sound very sexy, but when you ride share, obviously you want to keep your car in good working order. And for the last couple of days, or for a couple of days in a row, I noticed that my tire indicator light was coming on and my rear tire in the back was low and I filled it up and you know didn't really think too much about it the tires new I've got like 20,000 miles on the tire it's a new car and um, I thought it was weird that I had a slow leak but I thought okay maybe it's the valve stem or something and you know just kind of filed it away until the next day in the morning same thing the tire was a little low not a little low, it was pretty low. Um, so again, I went to the gas station, I filled it up. I'm looking at the tire, I don't really see anything. And then coming home, I've got the window down. And as I'm driving, I hear this click, 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 click. This kind of metallic sound. And I used to wear cowboy boots and I used to go through the heels a lot and I would get um, heel taps, heel savers. And I had some that were plastic, but I also had some that were metal. And that sound, the sound that I heard with the window down of the metal, like tap tap, reminded me of my metal taps on my cowboy boots hitting the asphalt. And I knew that meant that I had a piece of metal in one of my tires and that's what I was hearing. And I put two and two together and I was like, okay, I've got a nail or a screw or something in that tire. So, um, sure enough, um, you know, it's too late to go to get it checked out. I didn't have anything to do that night. So in the morning I took you know, I took the car into the the tire place. I look and I can, I see something sticking out and it's big. It's not like a nail, it's, you know, it's it's a screw or something. Um, and I, like, uh, I'm sorry, I like to go to Hanlon's Tires in San Bruno. They're really nice. I've been going to them on and off for 10 years. And um, I used to own an 82 Honda Civic hatchback and the tire was, my tires were really old and one of them, like it separated, like part of the tire sloughed off and you could see this, the, the radial um, bit um, underneath the rubber. And I was like, oh, that's not good. And I got it to a gas station and I asked them, I'm like, hey, um, how much would you charge to just throw the spare on that I've got in the trunk? And the guy's like five bucks. So cool. While he's doing it, I was like, hey, so where do you recommend to go for, for tires? And he recommended going to Hamlet's. And then it was only after he made the recommendation that I looked up and I noticed that the um, the Firestone Tire Place was three doors down. So obviously, you know, he thought more of this place than he did his his neighbors. And um, best uh, best advice I ever took. I've been going there ever since. Um, they have new tires, they have used tires. I can usually get in and out, no problem. Uh, the price they quote you is, they'll give you the price for everything out the door. It's not some places that quote you one price for the tire. And then there's, well, the mounting is this amount. And the, uh, you know, the valve stem is so much. There's this, that, this recycling fee or whatever. And then, you know, their $49 tire turns into, you know, $150 with all this stuff added on. Hanlon says it's this much out the door. They have new tires. They have used tires depending on, on which way you want to go. So anyway, I brought it in in the morning. Um, there were like three people ahead of me. It took 45 minutes. Got in, got out. It was a, a huge bolt. I don't know how it got in the tire. Obviously, I ran over it, but um, I don't know where I, I picked it up along the way. But it's always good to have a tire place. It's good to have uh, a mechanic that you use if you've got a body person that can take care of dents and and collisions so I would suggest that you kind of get a list of these people together if you ride share because sometime you're probably going to need them 
and you could check out the Facebook group Ride Sharing 101 as well because that's a good reference uh, depending on where you're at. There's a good tire place in the Fremont area that some people recommend as well. I'm over on this side, so San Bruno, I use Hamlin's. But um, it's good to have a list so you can um, you can refer to it or refer other people as well because it is something that's going to come along. It's great to have a car wash place. It's great to have... Uh, you know, a tire place, a good mechanic, somebody that, you know, does body work, somebody that does insurance, um, a good insurance agent is, is worth having as well. So, um, I'm really wiped out today. It was beta breakers. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that in one of the upcoming videos, but uh, I just wanted to get this out and, uh, mention tires cause they are something that you go through. If you drive a lot, the more you drive, the more tires you're going to need. Um, spend money on good tires get good tires because they're all that separates you between you know the road getting into an accident not getting an accident being safe so on that note i'm going to take a nap and i will talk to you later thanks thanks for listening